Okay. Yeah. Um, it's nice to hear uh, all these things about the society, but uh, it almost seems like a utopian society, like an ideal state. So it seems, uh, I mean, considering what the society is today, can we ever achieve such a society? It looks very far-fetched. <clears throat> so, first of all, we need to see our natural acceptance. What is our natural acceptance? Is it to ensure those four goals or something else? So, do we want a harmonious society or a disharmonious one? Secondly, once I have a clear vision of a harmonious society, right? then my thought, my behavior, my work, get self-organized on that basis, which ensures happiness and feeling of prosperity in me. And since this is the natural acceptance of every human being, right? So the time it will take does not matter. So the moment I have a clear vision of a harmonious society, my participation, my role gets definite. And my also program uh, becomes definite. So that definiteness in my imagination, that definiteness in my behavior, my work, gives me happiness, gives me uh, satisfaction. And with that, I can proceed. Now, if that vision is not there in me and such kind of society, this format of society is imposed from outside through some rules, regulations, impositions, then it becomes a kind of utopian society. So the basic task here is to see what is naturally acceptable to us, this kind of society or something else. Now this word utopia came because uh, one author wrote a book on utopia uh, about three or 400 years back and some kind of uh, society of people living in isolation uh, from the world was imagined and that was termed as a kind of perfect society. And from there this word emerged. But here if we see, we are not trying to conceive of any kind of society which is secluded from the rest of the world. Rather, we are talking about going from family to the world family. And that also through education, through exploration of one's own natural acceptance, validation in living. So that kind of possibility is not there. Rather, the possibility is there that once I'm clear about this harmony in the society, once I have a clear vision, then my every thought, my every desire, my selections get in order. Right? and my interaction with human being or the rest of nature gets in order. So I'll say that this is a natural state of society, isn't it? And we call something ideal when we do not have the definite program to achieve it. But given the program, it becomes the natural state. So uh, I'll say that this is not a utopian society or something like an ideal state, but rather this is my natural state the way I really want to be, the way I want my family to be, the way I want my neighborhood to be. And uh, through such exploration uh, of my own natural acceptance, I can get a clear program how to go forward from here, right? So this is nothing in isolation or seclusion from the rest of the world, but rather it is with a feeling of love for the entire humanity, with a feeling of love for every human being, with a feeling of compassion for the entire society with a feeling of responsibility to the birds, uh, animals, right, uh, air, water, soil, every entity in the nature. And such efforts have been made, particularly in traditional societies. Uh, many efforts have been made for thousands of years, isn't it? Yes. And the um, uh, results from that are also still available to us, the effort that has been made. And I keep saying that Bhutan is the last uh, sort of uh, paradise <laughs> that is still alive uh, and wholeness. And many parts of India, if you go to any of these villages where the roads are not yet reached, there this kind of society is... Uh, they are at least making effort for that kind of society. So for the well-being of all, uh, there is a lot of learning. Uh, I mean, keep going back to Gopal Babu's thesis uh, on the base for, you know, for example, he has studied the Jajmani system. And perhaps he can talk about, about that. Such a beautiful system and whole 
you know way of living which is centered on the well being of all so like that uh, there are many efforts and if it is part of our education system those examples are there in the education system then we would like to live like that so for example the work that he did in his own building where he is living with 12 uh, you know 12 the, there are 12 flats in that building so it looks like a large family now so it is not so far away also and wherever we are effort can be made in that direction so it is not ideal it is what we really want yes correct we can use the word natural here in place of ideal yes <laughs> yeah so we are calling all of these goals as human goals why not call them social goals because it has to do with the society yeah so if you look at the human goals or the goals that we are talking about they give you a clear vision of participation for a human being in the society for ensuring harmony in the society so since mm-hmm. this is something that i uh, have to understand and i have to participate for ensuring harmony in the society so that becomes a goal for a human being that becomes a goal for me that's why the term human goal is here mm-hmm. now societal goal we can say when we are talking about the uh, society uh, on the whole the kind of state that we want to take it into so Uh, when we talk about undivided society or universal human order then that can be termed as a social goal but when we talk about right understanding we talk about prosperity we talk about fearlessness this is ultimately to do with human being mm-hmm. and that's why the term human goal has been used but again we can keep this open if you want to use some other word then that can also be used but the basic issue is to understand <clears throat> what kind of participation do we have to make to ensure harm in the society and it is our desired state or something else so that's why the word human goal has been used okay um now we are saying common goal for the society so can every single person in the society have a common goal yeah, sometimes so you know can... even in our family we don't see people having the same goal certainly certainly so this is the crisis today that presently we are either living like a crowd or a battlefield but the good part is that the natural acceptance is universal so as we saw earlier also that at the level of human being i can make out for myself that i am not the way i really want to be so there is a uh, uh, difference there there is a gap there between my current state and my natural state mm-hmm. which i aspire to be and the same thing holds true for my family members the same thing holds true for other people in the society so if you look at the natural acceptance it is certainly common and here we are trying to reflect everything at the level of natural acceptance now whether we are able to achieve this or not uh, or in how much time we are able to achieve that is a different issue so it's just like asking that yes i want to be happy but in how much time i am going to happy going to be happy <laughs> so ultimately even though i do not become happy the very next day or in 10 years my all efforts my all imagination behavior work is directed towards ensuring happiness whether it is based on right understanding or not in a similar manner we can talk about society so the common goal is open to self verification and each one of us can ask ourselves and see what is our natural acceptance while living in a society and we have experimented with tens of thousands of people from all sorts of background and everyone shares the same goal but again it is a proposal to explore for each one of us and we can verify on our own right but to verify this again we have to uh, first of all look at our personal level so uh, my natural acceptance is to ensure happiness in me okay now whether i am able to ensure this today or tomorrow is immaterial because my efforts are going to be directed in that direction similarly can we have a similar kind of understanding similar vision for the society that every human being in the society aspires naturally for harmony right 
though due to lack of right education due to lack of right sanskar right tradition we are not able to have that kind of society today but ultimately we have to have a clear vision where do we have to move for uh, ensuring that kind of state in society mm. why have we not included health as one of the human goals because for the human being health is very important yes uh this is a pertinent and very important part <clears throat> so health is a state of the body which is a natural outcome of self revelation a part of right understanding so you'll see that once we have the right understanding and right feeling in us then we are able to ensure two things one we are able to make out the need for physical facility correctly which ensures prosperity in my family and the second thing is that it naturally ensures health but one thing has to be understood here is that health has no continuity right because uh, uh, health is a state of the body and the body is a physiochemical entity so when we are talking about human goals we are talking about such things which are continuous and universal so when we go to fulfill the human goals health will be a natural outcome but health uh, is not something like a continuous state right and it is also included as a part of prosperity here so with right understanding what can be continuous in me is the feeling of self regulation like there is some disorder in the body because of some interaction with the rest of nature that is always possible but with the feeling of self regulation i can bring it back so this is something to be understood so if you look at the human goals uh, each of the goals is something that can be continuous so when i have the right understanding in me it continues when i have the feeling of prosperity in me with the correct identification of the need for physical facility and the understanding of my interaction with the rest of nature the feeling of prosperity continues in me when i am able to ensure trust in me that also continues and when i am able to realize the coexistence in the entire existence that also continues so that's why health has not been put as a part of human goal right because health is a state of the body this is something to be understood but it is a natural outcome of our program for ensuring the uh, fulfillment of common goal in the society mm. and when we have the right understanding i guess the health gets taken care of anyway because of the feeling of self regulation okay yes. um in this kind of a society where would you place the entertainment industry because after all entertainment today is a very important part of everybody's life so where would you place this yes <clears throat> so every human being wants to have a life of happiness and prosperity in continuity but it requires the competence to be developed in terms of right understanding and right feeling hence while making a program for society we need to first of all place the programs for happy and prosperous society at the same time we can observe that it will take time for every human being to attain the state of right understanding and completeness and in that duration one can go for such programs which can help reduce the unhappiness or deprivation entertainment can be one of them but we need to understand that such programs only help escape from unhappiness and do not ensure happiness and continuity and we can also observe that when we make effort to live with mutual fulfillment with the human being and the rest of nature then the need for such measures uh, is reduced so we have to observe uh, three things one uh, what is the desired state where do we really want to be so that is the state of continuity of happiness and prosperity the second thing is where i am today so there is no continuity though the desire is there right and the third thing is the program for transition from the current state to the coveted state and that is possible through having the right program for understanding and ensuring the right feeling in us now with the current state i am misguided by certain preconditionings and slaved by sensations okay and only a part of my imagination is coming from natural acceptance <laughs> so when i go to make the program for right understanding uh in completeness then i may not every moment feel enthused to work for it because there is a burden of my old conditionings there is a burden of dependence on sensation so 
many times we may require uh, such programs like entertainment so we can go for it and that can be done at a personal level or uh, in uh, limited uh, interactions but that cannot be the program for achievement of human goal so when we are making a program for society we have to look into the natural acceptance we have to look into the state in which we naturally want to be and for that we can make a program and then we can make some kind of programs which help reduce the unhappiness help reduce the uh, stress levels or the uh, dissatisfaction in the people uh, given the burden of old preconditionings and not only entertainment there could be several such issues which might have to be taken care of but again that we can do but we cannot make it as a goal of society we cannot make it as a uh, dimension of a happy and prosperous society rather we have to look at it as a kind of uh, a makeshift solution we have to look at it as a kind of piecemeal solution for time being second thing is that uh, living in a society we interact in fact nowadays you can see that our interaction uh, that we used to have physically has gone down most of the time we are uh, utilizing the it methods to interact with people but when we interact uh, with people that also becomes a kind of entertainment for us so interacting with extended families right interacting in festivals on certain occasions uh, in the society then that also becomes entertainment so if you see just 40 years back right there are very limited uh, television sets in the society and now every person has a kind of television in one's own hands right through mobile so there also we were uh, able to uh, entertain ourselves but the interaction was not due to this kind of industry it was more due, more uh, uh, by uh, having our physical interaction with people with the social interaction that we had so that possibility is also there and then we can also see uh, like uh, when we are not having uh, the program for at understanding then the stress level goes up the unhappiness goes up and that also affects the health of the body so many times people go for such measures to uh, also bring down the disorder in the body but there could be other measures also for ensuring health in the body for example if you are fagged up if you are tired right so one way could be sitting in front of tv and watching something the other way could be going for a walk for half an hour or one hour so those kinds of measures can also be thought about in fact due to the prevalent notion of maximization of profit or accumulation of unlimited wealth uh, this has got over stressed uh, such industries have got over stressed but we can look for alternatives to this also yeah i can see you know what you are saying because i now when i think about it you know there was a time when i used to see um, you know on tv or somewhere that they are showing uh, uh, these traditional dances at the time of harvest and all and i it used to make me think that uh, these people have no work they keep dancing you know uh, but now if i think about it uh, now uh, science has shown that if you are uh, in contact with the earth then so many problems get resolved in the body and it is actually good for the body and I, now if i think about it we also when we go for movies or we sit in front of the tv and we are trying to spend so much time entertaining ourselves uh, it is actually not helping us in any way but uh, at least this was better it took care of health so yeah i can see that now yes uh, entertainment if it is related to you know some sensation that is one uh, kind of entertainment but if you look at uh, uh, communication of feelings sharing of feelings which is not ne necessarily part of the entertainment today but that is something very important and all these things the dance the music the arts and all these things can be uh, very rightly used for expressing um, uh, you know the feeling and even the understanding part so can you discuss that also a little bit here 
Yes, Bhai. I think you can elaborate something more about this. But uh, one thing I can say that we can look at this entertainment industry also in two parts. One would be to educate the society, and the second thing would be just to appeal to the preconditioning or sensations of the people. So, uh, like uh, this whole uh, industry can have a proactive role of educating the people, and we can see that there have been so many movies made uh, to educate the society, right? it's only that uh, since people are preconditioned so they have to uh, add certain content which can bind them bind the audience to the screen but the movies have been a big source of educating the society you can see that certain transformation takes place or certain uh, difference uh, is very much visible after a movie comes either in the wrong direction or the right direction so we can utilize such channels like movies songs uh, dances right such uh, uh, activities for educating the people for ensuring right understanding in the people for ensuring right feeling in the people and we can uh, look into the history of indian cinema also like in the past uh, 70 80 years so many movies have come which have tried to eradicate certain bad practices in the society which have tried to uh, mend the <clears throat> thinking process of the people so that possibility is also there and second thing that <clears throat> we do not have entirely to depend on such measures so when we have our family functions when we have social interactions so that also is a good way uh, to ensure health of the body also and to uh, interact or ensure uh, fearlessness in the society also i do remember that in our childhood uh, every evening parents used to meet and they will have some function on some common place in the mohalla and they will discuss certain issues maybe they are talking about problems not every time solution but that is another source of uh, entertaining oneself or rather uh, having a better state of imagination in oneself so that is another source this over dependence on this uh, entertainment and that also through gadgets and uh, uh, instruments is had come up very recently that was not there in society earlier would like to add something to this vijay yeah i think <clears throat> when we go to uhb 4 uh, there's a whole lot of content i wouldn't say whole lot of content but there is certainly content on the right placement of all these uh, arts and it is very important like sharmila ji mentioned about the singing uh while uh, dancing while harvesting or singing while harvesting i used to observe people coming for uh, labor uh, in the buildings my grandfather was a, a building contractor so they used to come singing and they used to go back singing and they used to be so joyous coming to work and going back from work now that song has disappeared you know more or less <laughs> today now it has gone to the mobile and so on but when people are singing and dancing they are exchanging a whole lot of feeling they are getting more self confident they are getting more you know connected to each other so it's a very fruitful way of you know and when we go to bhutan for example the the dances are so 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 nice everybody can participate in that and feel part of the whole community uh, you know you don't have to show that you are special to be part of that community you are there and you can join the dance you can leave the dance so you you are part of the whole thing you know so it's it's certainly very useful for um sharing the feeling and then as you are rightly mentioning about sharing the right understanding also in a may, way which people can appreciate and in a way in which um, <coughs> you know they feel what quote and quote entertained also <laughs> it's not a boring way that you know so it can be um, a way which reasonably collects connects to the this uh, you know uh, uh, other things also but it uh, the core of it is uh, right understanding so and right feeling 
so there are many many examples of of you know that which today we are sort of pushing it to entertainment but it is not entertainment it is to do with uh, it's a very joyous way of communicating the feeling and communicating the right understanding so there is a lot of talk about that and maybe discussion about that in uh, uhv um the four that course on you know the implications and the universal human order uh today uh, while we are discussing uh, harmony in the society uh, i have uh, some doubts in my mind that uh, uh, today society is divided uh, into that haves and have nots and uh, the idea of equality uh, the have nots can uh, easily uh, understand this idea or they can easily uh, uh, try to uh, implement these uhv uh, values but uh, what about uh, haves the people the uh, haves population that group of haves means uh, rich people uh, uh they they will not easily accept uh, the equal distribution of wealth or equal distribution of physical facilities Uh, 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 because the roots of idea of accumulation, accumulation of everything, accumulation of wealth, accumulation of rights, accumula- accumulation of prestige, and such, uh, these are deeply rooted uh, through these preconditioning, and uh, uh, therefore uh, uh, they will not uh, uh, easily. accept these uhv mm, contents and this is a uh, uh, doubt in my mind uh, uh, second thing that i uh, uh, the email will pick up this question first then you can go to the second question sir yeah 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 yes yes thank you so first of all let me clarify that we are not talking about equal distribution of uh, physical facilities or the resources what we are talking about is to achieve the feeling of prosperity in every family and these are two different things when we try to equally distribute physical facilities it may or may not ensure prosperity because unless the understanding of physical facilities the understanding of the need for physical facilities is ensured whatever physical facilities are available to us may not work to fulfill the need for prosperity in the family so we are never saying that the physical facilities or the resources have to be equally distributed what we are saying saying is that every human being has limited need for physical facility one thing second thing every human being has the potential to uh, produce much more than what one requires so and third thing that we are saying saying is that there is abundance of natural resources on the planet and it's only uh, the need for right understanding which has to be met so that with right skills we are able to fulfill our needs and we are also able, able to share with the society we are able to nurture the rest of the society this is one thing that we are saying secondly <clears throat> among haves and have nots also if you see it's not ultimately the position of wealth that matters that has come to our experience also it's a matter of one's own sanskar or the kind of imagination that the self has prior to getting exposed to this kind of content so there may be people who have a abundance of physical facility but once they are able to uh, get exposed to this kind of content they are able to invest their mind body and wealth for uh, taking the masses forward and we have so many examples across uh, like uh, this country also where we have met such people and they have been able to take it forward and there could be people um, who are not having so much of physical facility at the same time they are having that kind of sanskar and they able to take it forward and on the other hand also you can see that people who are termed as have nots they are so much engrossed in making the physical facilities available to them that they are seldom able to give the priority to right understanding and they keep on taking this physical facility as the sole program for themselves and a similar thing can hold true for those who are called as haves also so i will say two things here in response to your question first of all we are talking about the feeling of prosperity where the 
correct correct identification of the need for physical facility uh, is required and that is only possible through right understanding so we'll say that equitable uh, distribution would be a better word in place of equal distribution and in response to the second question i'll say that uh, it's not a matter of the position of wealth rather it's uh, more related to the state of imagination the sanskar of the person which uh, helps one go ahead with this kind of program hello yeah please go ahead patel ji i got disconnected i will repeat that gender discrimination uh, uh, mel uh, uh, will uh, how will he accept this and uh, in caste and religious discrimination uh, uh, people from upper uh, classes uh, uh, upper castes uh how will they accept uh, this that i am thinking on this uh continuously that the society should be free from gender discrimination uh, uh, class discrimination and uh, caste discrimination and uh, uh, how uhv will provide answer for this uh, thank you my question is over okay sir so we talked about differentiation when we were talking about the feeling of respect and we can see that there are three conditionings uh, in the self that lead to differentiation so when you go for appraisal of the current state you can see that uh, it's not that only one gender is dominating in every family there could be variations right it's ultimately a matter of the set of preconditioning in the human being right if you look at a male or a female only the bodies are different the self is the same okay now if there is a tendency to dominate or exploit that can be there on the either side yeah it could be the case that traditionally one uh, gender has been dominating in some societies and in some societies maybe the other gender has been dominating so that kind of variation could be there uh, and again when we try to counteract this differentiation in society without ensuring the right understanding so it could be a kind of seesaw uh, scenario so So maybe a uh, few years back one gender was dominating and then uh, when you have a, a different kind of program in place of uh, ensuring right understanding the other gender is uh, dominating and this kind of seesaw structure could be there so ultimately we have to understand that the solution emerges only through right education right sanskar so that the right understanding and right feeling gets ensured in the human being again looking at the caste discrimination or there could be several other grounds of differentiation there also we can see that ultimately it's uh, not directly related to the caste or the uh, uh, such basis of differentiation again it is related to the sanskar part and again we can see through the work that we have done in the past 20 years people from all section of society have joined from different sects different <laughs> caste gender right here also you can see that so many males are also there and females are also there okay here we can see that people from various backgrounds are there so ultimately we have to see that it seems <coughs> central to human being okay so when we are trying to pave the way for a harmonious society we have to exactly see where we have to focus do we have to focus on physical facility do we have to focus on body or do we have to focus on the self in the self also do you have to focus on the imagination or the potential to rightly understand this kind of shift is required there have been efforts in the tradition where people have tried to ensure harmony in the society uh, by trying to make physical facilities equally distributed distributed to everybody and that has not worked out rather it has led to more domination exploitation wars and we have uh, seen that in the history if you look at the 20th century yes. Uh, several concepts came to equally distribute the physical facility and that has not resulted into a harmonious society similarly there have been so many movements struggles to uplift one section of society and that has led to certain uh, clashes or conflicts in the society so if you look at this nakshalism if you look at terrorism if you look at you know, movements for empowerment of one section of society 
so if the program for right understanding is not at the base all these programs are ultimately going to raise the feeling of opposition in the society clash in the society and that is going to more catastrophic state so we have to shift our attention from physical facility to body and from body to the state of imagination and from state of imagination basically to the potential to understand the natural acceptance of the human being then only we at a personal level will have peace in our thoughts when we can envisage a harmonious society and then only we can have a program to take forward in the society which can ensure the fulfillment of the human goal uh i was just thinking uh, about the content which we were uh, discussing today uh last few years uh, the engineering uh, institutions are um suffering that uh, the number of uh, means uh, the intake capacity is not being filled and uh, that is why there is a huge competition between all engineering colleges and thereby uh, many of the institutions have started the mal practices like they have captured all uh, uh, net cafes and they are paying the, these net cafe people uh, some amount like 10000 12000 or 15000 per admission and in such case uh, as we uh, say that uh, we should maintain human values and we should not exploit and all these things how does this uh, hold true for the institutions who want to go for uh, uh, holding this human values so it becomes difficult uh, and similarly unless we change entire uh, society uh, maintaining it for an individual or a group of uh, a small group of people will be very difficult to uh, hold these uh, values how to do this okay okay so few things to observe here so you can see that uh, there was some uh, change in the society about 20 years back when these technical institutions started springing up on a large scale at least in up we have observed this that once the technical university was formed many new technical institutions came up and the admissions also went up and that became a very kind of uh, important uh, component of the education industry so that was one, that was one scenario right and as the admissions went up on one point of time they also came down a uh, few years back so this kind of up and down is of course there in the society today and we have to be uh, observant about this we have to understand that this may happen so Uh, at some point of time technical institution very less in very less in number and now they are uh, large in number and now the uh, demand of engineers suddenly went up after this liberalization and that demand is no more there uh, because there are so many engineers in the society today so uh, now if you look at the uh, scenario just uh, that took place just recently once india has made vaccines so the need for pharmacy has gone up suddenly and the uh, pharmaceutical industry or the programs of pharmacy uh, are now going up so this kind of a uh, thing will be there presently they are talking about iot machine learning and such things so that segment of education will now have higher level of admission so given all this we have to understand that uh, first of all uh, this possibility is always there so today if the admission is good tomorrow the admission can go bad so this kind of possibility is there so at a personal level i will not get uh, uh, excited about these ups and downs uh, in the society but rather i will try to make out my need for physical facilities correctly with my self appraisal right with my uh, self verification and then i will make a program for myself right and uh, yes of course so if you want to have a sustainable society if you want to have harmony in the society so we have to take this message forward so that's how uh, when we are saying that we have to mold the entire society that is true but my happiness will not depend on the entire society so once i am clear my vision is clear my understanding is ensured my feelings are ensured so i'll have the feeling of happiness and prosperity in me in continuity and with that 
confidence in oneself, with that clarity in oneself, we can participate with the rest of the society. Okay. So two things I said that these kinds of ups and downs are always possible. And when these ups are there, then also there are some malpractices, unethical practices. When the downs are there, then also there are some unethical practices, malpractice in the society. So at a personal level, I will not get motivated or demotivated by these ups and downs, but rather I'll have harmony in my own thoughts, in my imagination, in my interaction with others. At the same time, uh, uh, we'll try to take this message forward in the society so that we can have a society which can be in a position to fulfill these human goals. Thirdly, I also say that uh, in this scenario also, we have ample scope to ensure right understanding within oneself and also to educate the students. That possibility is also there. Particularly with this <clears throat> e-platform, we are able to see that this early morning, so many of us are able to interact with each other, share our understanding and thoughts with each other. So we have to look into this mode also. At a personal level, if I am assured that, yes, this is going to ensure happiness and prosperity for me as well as for the other, so I can always raise a program. <clears throat> so we have to look into that possibility also. I do not have to depend entirely on my institution to raise the program for educating the society. I can do it at a personal level also to a large extent. Vinaji? Yeah, uh, another uh, question was, uh, we say that uh, prosperous feeling is uh, uh, when we have uh, enough uh, physical facility uh, than the requirements, let, little more than the requirement. Now, uh, looking into our entire life, now let us say uh, when uh, I will retire after a few uh, years, then uh, if I don't have, uh, means I, I, I don't plan for it, uh, economically and uh, that's uh, physical facility, about physical facility. I'm not sure, it is all uncertain whether my health will keep good or not, I'm not sure. I'm programming everything to maintain my good health, but still it's uh, uncertain that whether I'll continue to have good health even after uh, I uh, get aged. And second thing is, in such a con condition, when there are changing scenarios, how should I assure that what uh, amount of uh, uh, physical facility is enough for me right now and uh, after a few years of time or uh, remaining uh, life? How should we get assured to it? Okay. So, few things here. So, body is a physiochemical unit we are able to see and the body has a lifespan. That is also something that we can observe. So this body is going to, uh, again, you know, uh, end at a particular point of time. So given the normal situations, we can articulate the need for physical facility. And with that articulation, we can make out how much will be required in the normal state. Again, here, uh, to articulate the amount of income that I require, we can look into uh, various things that generally we talk about in economics or finance also. No? So we have certain assets with us, right? Then certain liabilities are there. Then we have certain expenditures and then we have income. And looking at all these four things, our assets, liabilities, income and expenditure, we can make out how much income I require, right? At this moment, so that I can store for myself so that I can take care of my body when I am not able to ensure income for me or production for me. Now, in the normal course, we can make an articulation. Now, let's say the body is uh, sick and it has entered into a state where it will not serve to fulfill the need of the self completely. Then if I am assured that, yes, I am not the body and the body is my instrument, so I can take a proper decision there, right? So the basic point required here is that if I'm able to see that self is central to human being, body is only an instrument of mind. So if the body is not able to work as an instrument, I will decide accordingly. If the body is able to work as an instrument, I will decide accordingly. Right. And with that uh, understanding and taking it as a normal course for the body, I can make an articulation of the need for physical facility. And when I am articulating, I will also take care of an excess you know, so that I have more than what I require. Second thing I wanted to say. Thirdly, I say that when we are living with a feeling of relationship, ensuring harmony in the family, 
it's not only me that has to take care of myself okay my relatives are there my family members are there so when i am participating in my family or in my extended family with a feeling of relationship with a feeling of nurturing the other then the other will also feel like nurturing me and if i am having right understanding and right feeling in me then i become valuable to the family okay so it's not me who has to take the prime responsibility it's the family that will take because i am valuable to the family and this is very important many a times while taking care of ourselves or our bodies we seldom take care of our relationships or our extended relationships and then we feel isolated we feel lonely and then we feel that it's only me who has to take care of myself but if i become valuable to the society i become valuable to the family then they will uh, try to take care of myself as much as possible so we can look into that dimension also yeah true but uh, it is when yes, you have so. a family uh, but uh, if you are uh, sure that you, nobody will be there in your family then it's all uncertain so at that time whether it will be possible to maintain harmony within ourselves yeah so then we have to look into uh, the way we have lived i'm just giving this as a general statement that if the harmony in the family has not been ensured or that family has not considered me as valuable in a general sense i'm saying hmm. then i have to make out i have to evaluate my level of understanding my level of competence and then i have to start from here that today where i am standing okay how do i go ahead now i can get into dialogue with my family okay i can uh take this program for my family members also so that they are able to ensure the right understanding and again i'll say that this is not going to be ensured in a day but at least we can set the program rolling for the family okay and then the family is also able to see that yes sincerely honestly i am trying to work out for family i am not keeping myself uh, as an individual at the focus i am uh, trying to ensure harmony in the family the harmony in the family is more important for me so if i am able to place relationship over physical facilities then the family will of course value me the society will of course value me if i am able to place right understanding also at the core then people will feel assured of me and they would like to stay with me they would like to take care of me isn't it in fact uh, that program is very much required if you are not if we are not able to ensure that kind of program in our lifetime then we'll have uh, generally this uh, will have we are we are bound to have fear uh, you know of uh, losing relationships or losing body but if you are going by the right understanding then first of all this fear will not be there and secondly the assurance in the relationship will be there right and that will take care of so many things 